seeds sprouting my little ones my beautiful beautiful babies yes good morning guys i am about to harvest my sweet potatoes which is my favorite favorite thing i've ever grown in the garden and if you can see these leaves are getting kind of yellow and dying that is kind of when you know you're ready to harvest your sweet potatoes. I think this is like the third video I made on harvesting my potatoes, but I just love them so much. I love to eat them. I love the way they taste. I think they look beautiful. I think the leaves are beautiful, even though they're dying. So I'm gonna pull these out this morning and see what I've got in here. I think I'm gonna just approach this. I'm just gonna pull everything out and then start digging. Oh, baby, first one. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Look at this root. Look at this beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Got this one. Beautiful. Look, there's, there's other roots that we're attempting to grow, but I'm not waiting any longer. found a regular potato, little yellow one. Oh look, here's, a, here's another potato growing with the leaf still on it. Yes, I got another one. These are fairly small this year, but I'm not mad about it. I think that's it guys. I think I pulled them all out. Uh, they're very small this year and that's fine. Um, I'm still gonna eat them. Now, I'm gonna take all this dead leaves. I'm gonna throw them over my, my new beds. I got two new beds over there and I'm building them up as my no dig garden beds again and just use it for compost. So it looks like here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little, nine little sweet potatoes. There's a plane. Hey, camera. What's we'll say Chigger? Y'all see Chigger? He got a haircut. He looks good. Woo! Looks good. Anyways, they're small. They're very small. Um, they were, you know, the leaves were dying and apparently that's when you're supposed to harvest them. So. I don't know if they would have gotten any bigger. You know, winter is coming. Well, fall, it's still really hot right now, but um, anyways, I'm not mad. It's still super exciting to see, you know, the food growing and knowing that I contributed to it and knowing that this is one less sweet potato I have to buy at the store. So that's good. Y'all can see them, they're relatively small. It's okay, they're gonna be so delicious. Cannot wait. Take these greens, take them here. These are my two new garden beds I put out here. This one and this one. They're the newest addition to the family. And I am I'm laying I'm working on building up the bed. Like I said, it's this these are no dig garden beds. I didn't do any tilling of the land. 
I just did my layering like the cardboard, dirt, dead leaves, twigs, sticks, uh, compost. There's a lot of compost in there that I've been collecting at my RV. And I'm just kind of building these up because when those sprouts are ready to be put in, they'll be good to go. Here's uh, the other two beds. This bed still is producing jalapeno peppers. So I am just kind of leaving it there until, I don't know, maybe they are ready to be harvested or when it gets more fall. I don't know, but look at all these red ones. That's so cool, guys. There's my cinder block bed. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. All right, bed empty. It's ready for a little topsoil. And same with this one. This one is mostly empty. What you're seeing that's green is mostly weeds. Although I still have my kale. This is like the very first thing I ever planted out here was kale. And this was two years ago and it's still here. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's been raining the last week every day and it just, oh, it just bloomed up. So pretty. And this little kale patch and then another one over there. And here, I need a, these, it's almost time for these okras to go. But every once in a while, another okra will pop up. See, look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm going to take it off right now. I'm going to eat it. Mm. That's so good. So good. Anyways, those beds. Now, I did take it upon myself to put some mulching around the beds. Just so I didn't have to weed eat as much. But look, there's weeds, come, there's grass coming up after I put the mulch down. So, it's a labor of love, I'm telling you guys. I have my banana tree over there. Still rocking it. There's two, two trees right there. But, yeah. This bed, I'm going to have three quarters, I'm going to have garlic in it. And then this section over here, I'm probably going to do an eggplant. I got an eggplant chilling in there. And I got it from a garden meetup. So somebody gave it to me. And I'm going to hopefully put that up here in this bed up here. Hey, Chigger. Hi, Chigger. What are you doing? You are so cute. You're so cute. You want to go inside? Go inside? Okay. All right, so that's it, guys. That wraps up my sweet potato harvest. I was hoping for more, but it's okay. This is perfect. I have some roots saved, so I may end up putting them right back in the bucket. And I'm looking forward to, you know, having my seeds sprout up and putting them in the garden, which I could see behind me. And I'm hoping this fall and winter will be a good harvest. I've got a lot of spinach in there. I've got more kale I've got carrots I've got room to grow carrots last time I grew carrots I didn't have enough room for them to go straight down so I'm gonna attempt carrots again and collards I got collards in there just a lot of nutrient dense food for the winter time so I'm really hoping they do well I hope you guys enjoyed the video I am going to take Chigger back inside and try to get to work soon and I hope you guys are doing well and I hope that uh, you guys are being kind to one another. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.